Well, I am still reeling from that Will Ospreay announcement that he'll be in the Southern Rumble. But coming up next, we've got a battle of Invercargill's favourite son, the Hammer, taking on Queenstown's hooligan, Marcus Cool. And this should be a very pivotal match for both men. Marcus obviously on a, a bit of a downward trend. Um, but he's looking to get a victory here and reassert his climb back up to the top. I think that's fair to say. Last time we were in this building, the Invercargill Working Men's Club, Marcus Cool lost the SPW Heavyweight Championship. And then just last weekend, Cool again involved in an epic battle against the monster Jacob Cross. No disqualifications. Yet again, coming out second best. Tonight, he looks to get back on track, get back in the winning column, and he's looking to do it at the expense of Hammer. I have full faith here in Marcus Cool to get the victory here tonight. Any match you even walk out of with Jacob Cross is one that uh, you know you can be proud of, and uh, I think it just it probably just made him stronger, if anything. What a class act this man is. Marcus Cool, immensely popular in Queenstown, but the same cannot be said for the reception he receives here in Invercargill. Invercargill is a place with less taste, obviously, in Queenstown. Definitely looking focused here. He's looking cool. Done. Oh, that's what I'm Is it? Yeah. He's done. Yeah, that made me look stupid, Dan. Not a happy chappy here. He looks focused to me, Dunn. What do you reckon? Has he got this one? Or is the Hammer going to come out on top? Very hard to bet against Hammer. He's a man who doesn't like bullies. And you could describe Marcus Cool at times as a bully, Steve. No, that's ridiculous. I've never seen him bully anyone. Well, this is your first show here tonight for SPW. You haven't been around very long. I've seen Marcus Cool perform for years. He's a gentleman and a scholar. I think you need to start paying a bit closer attention. Don't question my eyesight. Man. 
But I hate Invertago. Out of all the places to live in this beautiful country, you idiots have settled in this dump. I hate your stupid little transport museum. I hate Burt Monroe. I hate cheese rolls. And I hate, I hate that Tim stupid dickhead shabble. of my favourite word, dickheads. <laughs> and tonight, tonight, I spit in the face of all of you, because tonight I'm going to spit in the face of your local hero, Hammer. represents all of you, he represents this community, and tonight I'm going to embarrass Hammer in front of all of you lot and in front of the biggest crowd that SPW's ever had, because I am the best in this country! That is how you speak with a microphone. Well, a lot of accurate points made there by Marcus Cole, wouldn't you say, Dunn? Uh, not at all, Steve. Not at it's all. I will concede Marcus Cole made one accurate point. This is a man who represents Invercargill, who represents everything these Invercargill fans stand for. And I, for one, can't wait to see what happens when Hammer lays his hands on the hooligan. Well, I mean, I must say, like, I think Cool definitely has his hands full here. Hammer's a... I think he might be chiseled out of granite. But I think Cool seems... He seems to have got this. You know, he's, he's, he's confident. You and Marcus Cool might be the only two men in the building that share that opinion, Steve. And Cool's fired up. He's ready to go here. But if I were the hooligan, I'd be thinking twice. Looks like Hammer's on the warpath. Out to defend in the cargo. And to make an example out of the hooligan. Hammer hasn't broken the stare of Marcus Cole since he came out here. I'm actually starting to get a bit worried actually now for Mr. Cole. You think Marcus Cole regrets that comment about cheese rolls now? Look, have you ever had a cheese roll? That is disgusting. It's delicious. It's disgusting. You've got no taste buds. Well, Hammer gonna come out here, hopefully slap the taste out of Marcus Cole's mouth. You've just got a thirst for violence done. I enjoyed working with you during that first match because it was amazing. Marcus, cool. He just brings out this side of me. What can I say? You're just a bully, done. Marcus, cool is the bully here, Steve, and Hammer does not like bullies. Looking to do something about it after the way Marcus, cool, disrespected these Indicargo fans. And looking to stand in the way of Marcus Cool getting back into contention for that SPW Heavyweight Championship. Well, the fans are definitely on Hammer's side. 
Where do you think they'll still be after he... Oh. Big spear tackle from Hammer. All 111 kilograms running straight through Marcus Cool. Oh, that's not good. Get out of the ring, Cool. And Cool looks to have been winded here. He's flopping around like a dead fish. Oh, he's got him by the throat. Hammer presses Cool sky high. It slams him to the mat with a choke bomb. And he's done it. Not like this. Phenomenal victory for Hammer. And that has got to be a record time. Gotta check in with the timekeepers, but how long was that matchup? I can't believe what I just saw. Marcus Cool, a phenomenal athlete, just, just decimated by Hammer. Hammer running right through the former SPW champion around a minute. He's a former champion, Dunn. Hammer just obliterated him. Hammer made him look like a rookie. This, I mean, this is obviously fantastic for Hammer. This, I would say, puts him in contention, but what does this do for Cool? What does this do for his mindset? Marcus Cool on a downward spiral, especially in Invercargill. We're going to take another look at the finish of this matchup, but we could just about show you the entire thing for how long it went. Oh, I don't want to see this again. Oh, just brutal. He could have cracked a rib. This match should have been stopped. Look at this choke bomb. Hammer plants Marcus Cool in the center of the ring. Definitive victory. Well, I mean, not taking anything away from Hammer, but I don't know if Marcus Cool was ready. And look at the impact of that spear. I think only like 75% of Marcus Cool had turned around to face Hammer when he hit that spear, so... Well, 100% of Hammer came crashing right into him. And Marcus Cool looks shocked. He can't believe it. But the fact of the matter is, Hammer's victorious here tonight. And Marcus Cool comes off second best in Indicago yet again. Let me try this again. I've just received word that Marcus Cool has just broken a record right here in SPW. Coming in at 48 seconds, the fastest loss in SPW history. Wow, well, Marcus Cool. How was that, mate? Was that better? I mean, everyone loves winning awards, but I, I, this isn't a good one. Cool beside himself here. I'm sure he holds many a record in SPW, but fastest loss, certainly not one he was hoping. Oh, it's not going to get the prize place on the mantle, is it, Dunn? And now Marcus Cool might be making the fastest exit here, gathering his belongings. Just leave, Cool. Just leave. Just... Invercargill doesn't deserve you. Just go and never come back. There's greener pastures ahead. And this capacity crowd serenading Marcus Cool with a song on his way out of the building. That's not very nice. This isn't a karaoke bar. Let the man walk in peace. A dejected Cool heads back to the locker room for an early shower. <laughs> 